guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the TARDIS Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter. I received this in my April BoxyCharm subscription. This one is in the shade Exposed. And I thought what we would do today is not really talk about Tarte because I have talked about them a number of times before. I will link my other Tarte reviewed videos down below. And if you specifically want to hear parts about me going into more detail with the company, I would encourage you to watch my Maracu oil, Maracuja, Maracuja. I never know which way to say that. The video down below, that one, I went more detail into the company. Um, but overall, I thought we would talk about this product. I've been testing it for a couple of weeks now. I am going to show you some footage about how I like best to use this product. And then I will give you my review at the end. And for all of that, I will put timestamps down below. So in talking about this product, uh, this is one of three shades of their liquid highlighters in the Pro Glow. There is also Sparkler and Stunner. Uh, these are $35 Canadian, so they're a little pricey, but they're what you would expect for from Tarte. And they are supposed to give you a healthy, dewy glow. It says that it builds from sheer to intense. It has ultra concentrated pigments and pearls, and it is a hybrid gel cream that is oil free. That's actually fairly important in a liquid highlighter because in a lot of cases with liquid highlighter, you're going to have your foundation on and then dot it where you want it and blend and if it has oil in it it would act like an oil cleanser and remove the foundation that's underneath if it's too oily. It does say that this product is infused with rose water uh, and it says you can layer it with a matching powder highlighter that they have from Tarte and that you can put it on with your fingertips or a blending sponge or you can mix it in with your foundation to give you overall more of a glow. This one right here is a beautiful shade. I'll just put a little bit of it onto my hand. It's got a little bit of a golden warm kind of tone to it. I'll just show you. Oh, there, you can pick it up on camera, it's, it's beautiful, and it really doesn't feel very oily. Uh, that's my problem, let me see if I can turn this down a little bit, uh, yeah. That's my problem with a lot of highlighters is it feels, or liquid highlighters, is they feel like they just move around and then don't, oh, sorry about the lighting. Uh, they move around but don't actually sink into the skin very much. Now, I have tried this dotting on top of foundation and that does give you a little bit more of a glam kind of highlight, although you do need to be careful with making sure that you're not moving around your makeup too much. I mean that you are gently dotting it on and it does help to do it with a sponge where you can sort of press it into the skin. But where I found that I really like this is mixing it in and blending it in a little bit with a brush when I am doing my foundation to give more of an overall skin glow. Uh, so what I thought I would do now is cut to that footage so you can see how I apply it. And I'm doing this more with a brush because I watched a video on a glass skin tutorial from Samantha Ravendahl who really did a lot of blending with a brush for her foundation which gave a very natural look more so even than a sponge and I've tried it a few times and I love the way it looks. I will link her video down below because all credit goes to her um, but that is really where the idea of this came from is that I can really blend it in and get a beautiful very natural looking glow going with this product. So I've zoomed you in a little bit. My skin is all moisturized. And basically this is what I saw, as I mentioned in uh, Samantha Ravendahl's video. And I'll link that down below. But it's really just all about using little bits of makeup, doing a lot of blending. And in that, I'm also gonna be blending the Tardist Pro Glow into it at the end to give like a very natural luminosity, even though it can be a very built up highlighter. So I'm gonna be using this uh, Ordinary Coverage Foundation, and I'll just show you the first little bit of how I'm doing this, but I won't film the entire time of doing this on my face because it will just get, it's, it's a little bit time consuming. So I'm just starting on my jawline because that's where Samantha started it. And I'm using this little brush, which I've not used for this before. Basically, I'm going in, I'm getting the brush in there, and I just keep blending and blending and blending and blending until it just melds in with my skin. I'm not looking to have high coverage. I'm looking to have very natural looking skin. So I'll zoom you in a little bit to see what this looks like. 
So hopefully you can see in this part of my skin where I've been blending, it would be really hard to look at it and see that it is foundation, but it's just smoothed out all of the redness and made it look very uniform. So there we go, that is my foundation applied. And now we are going to put on the Pro Glow. Now what I am gonna do is put this on the back of my hand and swirl the brush into it so that I can sort of saturate the bristles and then swirl it into my face to make it meld in with the skin. And hopefully you can see it's added a very natural glow and dewiness on my face and even where I've brought it down my nose a little bit there. It's not a glowing, here's a strip of highlighter kind of highlight. It's a very subtle glowing, meld it into my foundation kind of highlight. And that's a nice thing to do for any foundations that are more on the matte side, is you can blend this in with it and just create a little bit more luminosity in the areas where you want that and keep other areas of your face where you may want them a little bit more matte. I'm gonna go put the rest of my makeup on and then I will be back. So my thoughts on this is that I enjoyed it a lot more than I expected that I would. I, if I'm going for a real highlighted look, I really do like using a powder highlight because I feel like you don't need to mess around with it as much, making sure that you haven't powdered your face already, making sure that it's not going to mess up anything that's underneath. But in terms of blending something into your foundation to give you a really natural looking glow, or bringing out a glow in a foundation that is more matte. I really do enjoy this for doing that. I think if you are looking to do that going into summer, especially having a look where you're not really powdering on top of it, that you can really let that glow out, having a liquid highlighter to mix and blend in is just a beautiful, beautiful effect. So overall, I do like this a lot. I think I'm going to be reaching for it a lot in the summer when I'm really going for this glowy kind of look. And yeah, I am I am amazed at how much I like this. Uh, let me know if you like this. Uh, did you also get this? Did you get the same color? Have you tried other liquid highlights that do just as well as this, but are not maybe the price tag that this is? Leave all of that in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. I would also say that if you are a regular viewer of my channel, I usually try to put my videos out Monday, Wednesday, Friday. There's a lot of stuff going on in my life lately, things that I need to pay a little bit more attention to than YouTube. So the posting schedule is getting a little spotty. But what you can do is hit that bell button down below. It will let you know when I post and then we can keep catching up with each other, having these makeup conversations and I would really appreciate that. So while you're down there, maybe also click on the thumbs up, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, if you're not yet subscribed, it's something like 90% of the people who watch videos on my channel are not subscribed. So be one of that awesome 10% who clicks right here, subscribes to my videos and joins me on a more regular basis. I'll also put one of my other videos down here so you can watch that, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.